In this training, we're going to go over on exactly how to come up with the price for your online course. Just head on over to lifterlms.com forward slash calculator and you can complete these three questions to learn what the ideal price point for your course is. Now there's three things that influence pricing. The first thing is the level of support. So in addition to the actual lesson content, what kind of support are you giving? Is there like no support? It's completely self-paced. Is it in the middle with some kind of group or community support or coaching? Or does it include one-on-one -on -one attention? Those things can dramatically vary the value of the course. The next is your target market's willingness to pay. So what can they afford? Um, if you're helping a new parent, um, maybe a first time young parent, they may not have a lot of financial resources to invest in education the way a CEO of a large company would have. So depending upon who you're targeting, like a new entrepreneur, an established business person, a teacher, um, whatever the target demographic is, it's important to factor how much they can afford to pay for training um, of the kind that you're offering. So the next area is the perceived value of the result that your course promises to help someone achieve. Is it like a modern, modest incremental improvement to their current situation? Is it a major leap forward? Or is it some kind of game-changing, borderline priceless transformation? You can see there's a spectrum there of the perceived value of the result that your course promises. Obviously, if the result is kind of revolutionary and game-changing, they're going to be willing to pay more money for that. So basically, the way it works, let's use the five-day six-figure course plan challenge as an example, if we were going to price this program, um, it's primarily self-study, uh, go at your own pace, uh, without, um, a lot of active support, mostly because we've decided to give it away for free to the community and stuff. But if we were going to charge for it and we're not planning on offering support, uh, we would check this, this box. Um, what is our target market's willingness to pay? Um, if established subject matter experts usually have some funds, they're not really in the limited financial resources available category, but they may not be uh, in the high end premium end of their willingness to just spend money. So I would stick them in the middle. My market has average financial resources to invest if the ROI of the training is clear. And then if somebody does the training, how, what is the perceived value of the outcome? Well, if you can come up with a plan that's going to guarantee six figures of success in terms of having a, a course business plan and outline and everything all figured out so that you can confidently implement, that's I would call that a game-changing and priceless opportunity. So if we check that, you can see down here, it shows us that the price point here is $1,000. So that's awesome. That's that's what this this training that you've been in is is worth. Um, and just to show how it changes, if we were to offer some kind of group coaching as an example, the price might jump up to twenty five hundred. If I was to personally mentor and coach uh, people through the process, now we're looking at a five thousand dollar course. So you can see how these different levers change. Um, what the ideal price point is. Now, pricing is part art, part science. This is merely a guide to help you land in the right area. Uh, based on our decade in the industry, most people tend to underprice their their course. And especially if you followed this program and really built a really solid course plan, um, be sure you're charging enough for it. So go to lifterlms.com forward slash calculator. And over there, you can punch in the details for, for your situation and it'll tell you the best price for your course. So next, we're actually going to put the price on our course. I'm here on our six-figure course plan challenge course. 
And I'm just going to go into the back and show, if you're using Lifter LMS, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to actually add the pricing. So it's over here in this area called access plans. You can see we have a free access plan on here right now, but I'm just going to uncheck that and change it to $1,000. We're just going to do a one-time payment. You can get fancy with recurring payments or have a one-time payment and a payment plan, but just for simplicity, we're just, um, we're just going to do the one-time payment of $1,000. So I just plug that in. I hit update and save. And then over here, um, when we view the course right here, I'm going to view that in an incognito window where I'm not logged in. You can see here, there's the thousand dollars, click on it. And then the person can enter their credit card or pay with PayPal. So that's using the Lifter LMS Stripe for the credit card and Lifter LMS PayPal for the PayPal. And that's how easy it is to actually uh, price your course once you figure out what the best price point is. And also I just want to note that you can build your course outline like you've learned how to do in this challenge and go ahead and sell the course with a future start date, or maybe you've only got lesson one completed uh, just to test the market. So I recommend going to market as quickly as possible with your online course, because when you get paying customers, it's very validated, validating that you're heading in the right direction. And you can do that with full transparency. Lifter LMS, as an example, has features for a future start date it has drip content features so that the lessons can kind of come available one week at a time or on certain dates so that you can literally pre-sell your course before you've made any of it if you really want to or kind of you're making it as you work through the program with your actual students. So figure out the right price, put the price on the course and get it to market as soon as possible potentially even pre-selling it before you're completely done making it. That's it for the training today.